Well, I'm a 43 years old. Let's get a free coffee. Dutch Bros has their Christmas lights up on all poles and posts. I think they did it like November 1st. Got their holiday drinks. The defense isn't so sure about that, and the judge agreed to hold a hearing to uh, to sort through it. All right, it's about seven o'clock. Getting ready to load my turkeys and uh, head on to Mesa for my delivery. Wasn't thinking about this traffic because I'm still west of downtown. So there's this west, you know, this traffic going into downtown. Soon as I pass downtown, it'll be smooth sailing all the way to Mesa. But because we moved west of downtown, now I have this traffic I didn't even think about. I still mapped it, so I'm still on track to get there before the, the, the requested time. As long as there's no crazy accidents or anything, we are good. 9.30, we're all done, trucks are all out. Again, Tuesdays are super slow, super light day. Um, mainly because, I, I shouldn't say it's a, it's a light day, it's just a lighter day, slower day, but we don't have a bunch of shopping to do. The customers on Tuesdays don't require hardly any shopping. It's like, you know, three items here, three items there. Um, but uh, anyway, it's 9.30, we're gonna go do the shopping for tomorrow because that's a heavy shopping day. And uh, so we're gonna knock that out real quick and then I'm gonna go home early and stream, playing New World on Twitch. Got done with the shopping, finished up the last couple of things I needed to do for my dad, and I sent off at noon. So, you know, I got out of there two hours early. My brother was trying to get me out there earlier, but I'm like, relax, dude, relax. I'll take I'll take, a, I'll take an early day versus a, you know, uh, well, he's trying to get me out of there like at nine in the morning. I'm like, I'm gonna help you shop. It was a big shop day, I'm glad I did. Um, anyway, um, I've been meaning to hit the dispensary uh, the last couple of weeks, but I either forgot cash or the time that I had cash, it was just too late. And I didn't want to worry about the traffic and whatnot. So got out early and decided to go and didn't even think, hello, it's my birthday. Uh, not, not that I was like, I didn't ask about it, but just it got like brought through conversation. I was like, yeah, you know, I want to try something new. What's the occasion? I'm like, oh, well, my birthday. Like just, you know, an excuse to try something new. She's like, oh, it's your birthday? Well, we give you free this and free that. I'm like, I didn't even think about that. Like free weed, okay. So yeah, not only did I get what I what I came for, but then I got some more free stuff. So we are hooked up, baby. So we got plans for dinner. We're gonna we're gonna go do we're gonna do some Asian and some sushi for dinner because that's what I want for my birthday. So I was trying to think out what to do for lunch, and obviously it's Tuesday, right? So I was like, oh, I could just go get tacos, which I was. Pretty much kind of like, yeah, screw it. I was go get, you know, go get some tacos from my favorite taco shop. But then I remembered there was a lady who sells ceviche on the side of the highway, uh, not too far from my house, and I happen to have cash because I went to the dispensary. So we're gonna go grab some ceviche from a little street vendor and get back home and just have some some uh, chips and ceviche for lunch, and then I'm gonna do my live stream. I was, I'm trying to debate whether to, I, I'm going to play New World, we're going to be live on Twitch, but I was like, man, I wonder if I should do a small stream on X with maybe one of my birthday presents, um, or do a stream on YouTube and just hang out on YouTube for like an hour, but I was like, mm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do New World, because I want to play video games, like that's, it's my birthday, I want to play video games, so we're going to go live on Twitch after we've done eating speech in. How you doing? How you doing, sir? All right, finished my ceviche. It was good, enjoyable. Um, was it worth $10? Yeah, I mean, it's seafood. It's usually gonna be expensive. It was a good size. I think it was a, I wanna say it was an eight ounce container. Maybe 16, actually, it might've been a 16. Uh, I should've known that, but he had a label on it. I wasn't really paying attention, but anyway. Um, for 10 bucks, yeah. Wasn't a ton of shrimp, and he was the small shrimp, but still, I enjoy that flavor profile, and it was fantastic. Um, anyway, decided on dinner plans, told the family. Uh, Bryce has uh, athletic training, and he's missing a couple of days this week, so he's like, I really can't miss any more days. So I told him we'll eat later, um, which then I gave Tiffany a heads up as well, because she usually eats earlier, and she's on a different eating schedule than the rest of us. So... I told her to make sure she eats a, a snack or don't be afraid to eat a late snack. You want to go outside? 
What was that? Um, don't, you know, don't be afraid to eat a late snack because we're going to have dinner at 7. Or if we arrive at 7, then you're not eating until like almost, you know, 7.30. Um, but anyway, we're going to do, uh, we're going to, we're going to do uh, teppanyaki and sushi. I honestly, I was like, I want sushi. That's what I want for dinner. But like Bryce and I, Bryce will go toe to toe with me. He'll eat all the, all the sushi like me. Sierra's a little pickier. She tends to stick to just, you know, a couple of things. Um, and of course, Tiffany doesn't like seafood at all, especially sushi. So I was like, yeah, let's, let's go to a place I know has like good food. And then I'm like, of course, I'm like, Aso, which is a, a local, I think it's a local chain. I don't think it's in, out of state, but they have like four locations here. Um, they're the ones that do like the, you know, the teppanyaki in front of you, like with the guy doing a ting, 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 the volcano, you know, whatever. Um, but you can order that food just at the regular dinner table, which is what we're going to do. I don't, we don't need the show, right? I just want to go eat the food. The food's fantastic. The fried rice, the, the stir fried vegetables, the meat, you know, like I'm probably going to go with like, um, a filet and some scallops is probably what I'm going to go with tonight. Um, scallops are my favorite. Can't go wrong with steak. So st steak and scallops, I think is the move tonight. Red box plus comes with a porta potty for all your contractor needs. Is that the same company that does like the red box, red box? Like, is that how they pivoted? DVDs going out of business. They're like, well, let's make a big red box to throw the DVDs in trash. They went from red box to trash. About 5.30 p.m., 63 degrees. I'm in a hoodie and some sweatpants. And my Crocs, because wintertime is Croc time for me. Crocs with socks. And the kids got me gibbets last year. I got Batman, Batman, Spam, Masubi. I got you the Spam and the... You did? Yeah. Yeah, Tiff got me those from in Hawaii, that's right. When'd you go to Hawaii? April. April. Thank you. That don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. Where'd you hit it? A spicy margarita for twelve dollars on my birthday. What? Normal timing. All right, round one. Kids wanted some edamame and gyoza. They wanted spicy garlic, which smells amazing. Bryce, where are we at? Pretty good. Where are we at? Where are we? Oh. oh where are we at? I, even did, I didn't hear you either. Where are we at? Also. Sure. Sushi. Teppanyaki. Teppanyaki. Yeah. Teppanyaki. Yeah. 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 We've been coming, I've been coming here since I was younger than you. Because they had one where I grew up, and really? yeah, yeah, that was like the birthday place, the birthday destination, right? Yeah, it, never gave it for my birthday, Whole show for just one couple. Birthday meal: steak and scallops, fried rice and veggies. Tiff got her teriyaki chicken. Happy camper, and Sierra got her shrimp. And Bryce is not eating anything. Wah, wah, wah. He you know, gets the crumbs. Little, little edamame piece. <laughs> All right, we got Christmas week going on, so we got to talk over this. But uh, I decided to go with. They had a spicy mark on the on the special, but I was like, when we're you know, when in Rome, right? So we're doing a superior Junmai Ginjo. Ginjo, I'm from Toronto, it's not right. <laughs> Dry sake. I asked my buddies what they recommended, and they both recommended this one, this brand at least. So, limited selection. I, just, I honestly thought they'd have a bigger selection of sake. Is it carbonate? No. No, it's cold though. Let Looks see. crisp. Looks nice and cold. Yeah, see, so actually, kind of, kind of smells like more like beer. Oh yeah. It's nice. <laughs> he said, oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> it's got a unique taste. It does. All right. Bryce actually ordered sushi. That's supposed to be mine, so we'll put it on my plate. But One of them's mine, too. Yeah, Sierra got the shrimp roll. That's mine. 
That looks good. That's the piece. That's the crazy. Presentation's on point, though, so we're not mad about it. Everybody's got plates, so we're good. First bite. First bite. <laughs> He's like, oh, see my fingers. Get it in there. Classic Bryce. <laughs> yeah, since the first time you ever had sushi. <laughs> All right, so so far, Bryce, you were just saying that one's a flavor bomb? This one's a flavor blast. Flavor oh, blast? Yeah. Sierra, what do you think of yours? That's good. Very good? Different. Yeah. yeah. Enjoying your teriyaki? Yep. Yep, yep. I'm in heaven. <laughs> the scallops and steak are on point, the veggies, the rice. And I'm, honestly, I haven't really enjoyed the sake. Tiffany did not like it, but I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna do this this time. Good call, Chop, Chuck. And, my, and of course, I had my salmon nigiri on the side. Soup and salad came out a little late, but I'm still gonna eat the crap out of it because I love miso soup. And I love this. I love everything. Everything about this. This entire meal. Got my DD because I had a bottle of sake. What? He's in a group chat. His friends want me to play Fortnite with him. I think he's about to tell him, "No, you don't." <laughs> Sorry, I made it all cute and fun. We don't have tissue paper. No, I love it. Okay. You did a great job, Bryce. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really tried. For me and Bryce. You both got me a card? Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's, it's the Clintus, actually. Dad, you're one of a kind. <laughs> So if I'm a little unusual myself, remember, I got it from you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. Hope we can make as many more memories as possible in this last year of living under your roof. Be rice. That's awesome, dude. Is that your first card you bought me? I think so. Might be your first card. I love cards. Sierra loves cards. Get, she gets that from my parents. I, think a big card I hate cards. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, I do not know it's all right. I hate writing cards. A girl never outgrows her dad. Dad, even though I'm older now and our lives have changed in so many ways, I hope you know I still look up to you as my dad, my hero, and my friend. I love you so much, Dad. Happy birthday. This card says exactly how I feel. Don't ever think otherwise. I'm proud to call you my dad every single day. I love you, Sierra. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys. Very nice. Get a box. <clears throat> oh. oh, I haven't seen this one. It's newer. Chrysanthemum. Wow. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's our birth flower. Oh, that it's I didn't a, know. It's our November birth flower. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, I've never seen this one before. It it's definitely it? newer. I think it came out this year. Ten and a half inches. It's almost a foot. Oh, that's awesome. See, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of all the all the real plants. And I'm gonna fill that whole thing up with fake plants, the Lego mm -hmm. plants. Jack was giving me crap this weekend. He's like, how come the only two ones that are alive is Groot and Lego? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I give up on Oh, are these MC Hammer pants? <laughs> That's a jacket. Oh, wow. Do you, uh, is there, is there a name for this? I thought, is that like a windbreaker? Is that what that's considered? Kind it's of, like my, yeah. It's like my parachute pants. Yeah. Like that material. The material, you'll hear, hear them from a, a mile crazy. away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Loud. It what do you think, wife? Windbreakers came back. Huh? Windbreakers came back. Yeah. Just like everything else. <laughs> it's like, uh, stiff. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like a long, long like, sleeve shirt. It's like when you wear a coat, like those are big, yeah. heavy, and stiff. Well, I'm just saying, it's like it's not soft inside. It's just the material oh, all the way yeah. through. There's no, there's no inside mm -hmm. liner. Mm. It's almost like I need like a long sleeve shirt. Yeah. Like I like it fits good though, right? It looks nice. Yeah, it looks good. It fits, yeah, perfect. Cool. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's not wrapped, so. Pop <laughs> 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 you saw that and you were just like, you, you had to. Yeah, I'm like, silly, goofy gift. <laughs> you can add it to your plant soon. Yeah, now, now it's just another, another fake plant to add there. Yeah. Enjoy painting. Enjoy painting. Enjoy painting. Yeah. Once it grows, 
Yeah. Does it die pretty soon, or will it stay alive for a while? I don't. I don't think I've ever had a chia pet. No, never, never had a chia pet. Yeah. Those are been around forever. Yeah. Like. Chia. Maybe let's add it just a little love blue like that. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> you guys even know who Bob Ross is? I've seen Bob Ross videos. Painting and Bob Ross. One more surprise. All right, I was told not to go in her room because it is messy. Ta da! These are the bad ones. I made a second batch. I hope these ones are good. Yeah. Cheesecake muffins. Thanks, man. You ate? <laughs> I thought I smelled something when I got home. <laughs> are those this? Is that the same one you made last time? Mm -hmm. Those are baked. Those aren't no baked, right? Yeah. Because I, I smelt it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I made one batch and I don't think they came out very good, so I remade them and this is the second batch. So I'm hoping these ones are good. Why don't you think these are good? The batter just wasn't, I didn't know that you can't, the cream cheese can't be cold when you're making it because then it gets clumpy, like it's lumpy. Uh, so there's like clumps of cream cheese in this one. Uh, ooh. This one I think turned out better. It looked good. Right? So there you go. Thought I'd surprise you because I haven't done it in a couple of years. And kind of, I remember the first year that I didn't do it, you were a little disappointed. Like, where's my cheesecake cupcakes? And then I don't know, it's been at least two years maybe. So I was like, I'm going to do them this it's like year. like the rental. We did the rental. <laughs> yeah. That was last All right. Showered. Getting ready to go to bed. I got two more orders I got to put in, but it's past my bedtime. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate you. Um, tomorrow I will be recording a new episode of the podcast, long overdue. In fact, I think the last one I did was on my birthday, around my birthday. So um, I didn't to do it today, but I decided to stream instead. And uh, I'm not, no regrets. Today was great. I loved it. So tomorrow I will record the podcast. Um, so be on the lookout for that in your feeds, everywhere you listen to podcasts, as well as right here on the YouTube channel. There's a playlist, a podcast playlist. You can check that out for past episodes. But if you want the entire 80-something episodes we've done, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, just do a search for Riffing with Clintus and uh, catch up. <laughs>